what's up everyone? Hope you guys are all doing well. In today's video, I've partnered up with Snowboard Magazine to highlight a board from their Inside the Pro Model feature on the relaunch issue of the mag. If you wanna check out the magazine, you can click the link down in the description below. But for now, let's talk a little bit more about Eric Leon's Pro Model snowboard, the Arbor Relapse. All right guys, so the Relapse is a freestyle and park focused snowboard and it's built with Eric's core ethos in mind. CORE is actually an acronym. It stands for Community Outreach Riding Equipment. So this board's gonna come in at a very reasonable price point, right around 390 bucks. and still gonna offer all the great tech and quality that you'd expect from Arbor. This is a true twin and it runs a full tip to tail positive camber profile. So you're gonna get that more energetic, stable feel that you'd expect from camber. It also has some other great tech built into it. You're gonna find Arbor's 50-50 fenders, which is basically like a mellowed out version of their uprise fenders. So right at the contact points on the nose and tail, the base and edge is beveled up just a little bit. For the 50-50 fenders, it's beveled up one and a half degrees. So that just helps to mellow things out and make those contact points a little less catchy. You're also gonna get Arbor's Grip Tech side cut, which is a couple of added contact points right underfoot on both the toe and the heel edge. So if you're out there on ice or more firm conditions, it's gonna help the board to bite down. And with the Grip Tech, you can really feel that isolate under your feet and give you noticeably more control in those conditions. You're also gonna find a Biax fiberglass layup, which gives this board a nice torsional flex and has a great feel for riding rails, as well as an extruded base. So what that means for you is less maintenance. You're not gonna have to worry about waxing this board as often to maintain a consistent glide, as well as easier, more durable repairs at home if you do end up scratching the base. For reference, I'm 5'10", I weigh around 150 pounds, and I rode this board in a 153. And as far as the flex goes, I'd say it's a little bit on the softer side of medium, it has a really fun all-around park flex in my opinion. So you can still get presses going without having to work too hard for it. It offers some decent stability and I think works well with that full positive camber profile to still come through with some good pop anytime you're trying to get this board in the air or just do more freestyle focused riding. For carving and more all mountain focused riding, this board's still gonna hold up pretty well. It has a slightly larger side cut, so it's still comfortable at higher speeds. And that grip tech is noticeable also. We had some pretty icy conditions out there at copper in spots. And when you are going through that type of snow, you can definitely feel it isolate under your feet and really make you not worry about slipping out. You do have that extra control, which is nice. It doesn't offer as much stability as some of the other boards on the Arbor lineup, like the Westmark or the Aguchi Pro. So if your focus is high speed carving, this probably isn't the best choice, but just for general cruising around and exploring, it's gonna hold up just fine. But I think this board does shine the most in the park and doing more freestyle focused riding. Like I said before, it has a great all around park flex. It's gonna feel good working on those more technical rail tricks like presses and spinning on and off of rail features if that's something that you're interested in but still have some good stability for jumps. You can land a little back seat and it's gonna have enough support to bring you back forward rather than washing out and just be a great choice for all around park progression without an overly aggressive feel. Overall, I think this board could be a good choice for more beginner and intermediate riders who want something to learn on, progress with and grow into, whether that's freestyle focus or just riding the whole mountain. And it's also gonna be a lot of fun for more experienced riders who are looking for that all around park board something that's not a noodle, but still has a manageable feel to it. And for me, I think the biggest highlights are the grip tech. That's something that's gonna come in handy all the time, as well as the versatility and just the overall value you're gonna get in this board. I think that's something that's really hard to find at this price point. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check out the Arbor Relapse. I'll have this board linked down in the description below if you wanna read more about it. Also make sure to check out the write-up on Snowboard Magazine. That'll be linked down there as well. Drop a like if you got some value. Subscribe to the channel for more snowboard reviews. I really appreciate it, guys. And I'll see you in a new one soon. Later, guys.